The first question that we have got is which of the following are correct regarding the process of learning? Uh, number six. Number six. Uh, it will be number B. That means B, C, and D. After marking, then only I will try to B, C, and D. Read it, okay? B, C, and D. That means synthesis and or organization of the old and new experiences. Re resulting in a novel pattern carrying out activities which leave permanent effect on the learner d learning means acquisition retention and modification of experience got it so that is b c and d our answer we have got then number eight uh, not it it was number six next will be our number seven number seven says what is the full form of M O W D L E Moodle, an open source learning management system, insert LMS. So these are the options. Choose one. Uh, it will be number B. That means modular object oriented dynamic learning environment. Modular object oriented dynamic learning environment. This is our correct answer. I do my best to to impart you the correct answer of a particular question but still sometimes uh, it, it may happen because to R is human it happens that I uh, may tell you the wrong answer as the correct answer so to avoid that it is always best to go through uh, once at least once uh, to go through uh, the options by yourself you must do your own research so this is done now let let's move to next thing uh, given below are two statements so we have two statements statement, statement one says assessment drives learning statement two no feedback is required to be given in formative assessment now in the light of the above statement we have to choose the most appropriate answer from the options given below you can read okay read it so the correct option will be i will tell you statement one is correct but statement two is incorrect this is what i have got next according to dewry d-e-w-r-y dewry ed education is a what uh, social need personal need status need financial need it will be status need next pradhan mantri uh, sorry due to my far sightedness okay uh, the correct will be pandit madan mohan malavya national mission on teachers and teaching has various components which of the following is not a component under this scheme so these are the options inter university center of ugc faculty development centers fdc's teaching learning centers tlc's school of education soe so our correct answer will be inter university centers of ugc noun a okay done no. okay wait it was 10 yes nine was what was nine according to dowry education is a sorry not status need it will be social need okay it will be social need nine done then ten 10 will be this is okay inter university center of UGC 10 is to done then we have number 11 11 says which of the following are the features of case study method it is appreciative it is particularistic it is descriptive it is inductive it is mechanical so these are the options choose one correct option will be B C and D B C and D will be correct next number 12 it says which of the following are remote data collection procedures third party interview pop-ups database email 
instant messaging panel dis discussions now these kind of options are given correct option will be b c and d okay b c and d will be correct what was b c d b was pop up c was database email and d was instant messaging then number 13 to perform t test which of the following software can we utilize ms excel unix sp ss ms equations so these are the options for 13 correct option will be a and c ms excel and sp ss next number 14 in 14 we have uh, uh, we have been given a question related to maths list one with list two in list one we have types of research in list two we have research characteristic i will first read list one cohort analysis cultivation analysis factor analysis canonical analysis research uh, characteristic list two study of a specific population as it undergoes change over time simultaneous analysis of two or more data tables and analysis of perceptions of social world a multivariate statistical test used for data reduction so number 13 not 13 wait 13 we have done number 13 13 we have done now we have 14 14 what will be correct answer for 14's correct answer will be so these kind of options are given you can check it out d will be correct a will be related to uh, 1 then b3 c4 d2 14 done then number 15 uh, 15 wait F 15 says the measures of intercoder re reliability are employed in research related to what discourse analysis narrative analysis path analysis and content analysis number 15 15 uh, correct and answer will be num number d that means content analysis this is what i have got 16 transforming ideas thoughts and messages into verbal and non-verbal signs and symbols is known as what channelization control communication encoding decoding what do you think uh, it will be number 16 will be c that means uh, encoding Seventeen. Which of the following are the effects of oral communication? Fragmented in information, personal connect, feedback, objectivity, absence of interpretation. So these kind of options, correct option will be B and C will be our correct one. Wait, I might have clicked wrong option. Okay, so B and C will be correct. B was personal connect and C was objectivity. Done okay then 18 18 given below are two statements statement one says the psychological obstacle in communication can be seen when the receiver fails to refer language to reality and experience statement two the stereotypes hold by one also contribute to the failure of language to reflect social reality so these are the options study the options let me give you the correct option first it will be both st statement one and statement two are true. Number one will be correct. Then next. Next is uh, identify the correct sequence of the elements of communication set by Aristotle. Speech, speaker, audience, occasion, effect. So these are the options for the question number 19. Correct answer will be first B will come, then A will come, then D will come, then C will come, then E will come at last b a d c e then next number 20 maths list one with list two list one ha has types of communication effect in list two has source uh, has source of services sorry source of services service in, uh, in list one instrumental prestige reinforcement aesthetic list two 
authors observation source of service a range of special requests sentimental fiction factual reports number 20 correct answer will be c a will be related to 4 b3 c2 d1 done 20 done 21 it is a numerical sum find the wrong term in the series given below 16 22 30 45 52 66 22 30 66 45 well, what will be our correct option it will be 45 next if the art e a r t h be written as q p m as jeres in coded form how can the word heart h e a r t can be written in the same code so it will be number d that means s q p m z 22 is done next 23 uh, compute the value of so this is the uh, diagram not a diagram but for me it is also di diagram so you study the diagram up to three decimal places what will be the correct option uh, i will give you the correct option correct option of number 23 it will be 0 0.64 then 24 10 chairs and 5 tables were purchased for rest 17,500. If the average cost of a chair is rest 1000, what is the average cost of table? 1 for double zero, 1 2 double zero, 1 1 double zero, 1 5 double zero, 24. Correct answer will be 1500 rupees. 25. An aeroplane started 30 minutes later than the scheduled time from a place 1500 km away from its destination to reach the destination at the scheduled time the pilot needed to increase the speed by 250 km per hour what was the speed of the aeroplane during journey so this is the option 750 km per hour 1800 900 25 correct option will be 1000 km per hour next in a classical square of opposition, if number S is P is given as false, then which of the following could be immediately inferred from it? So these are the options. From there, we have to choose the correct options. Let me read it. Read it. Some S is not P is true. All S is P is undermined. Some S is not P is undermined. Some S is P is true. Some S is not P is false so number 26 correct option will be d that means b c and d will be our correct option next 27 which fallacy is committed in the following argument smooth sailing is all that's there to life life in capital with abc in capital insurance policy the appeal to emotion the appeal to pity the appeal to force irrelevant conclusion 27 to uh, the appeal to education will be correct 28 given below are two statements Sta sta statement one says to draw an analogy between two or more entities to, is to indicate one or more re respects in which they are similar statement two says every analogical inference proceeds from the similarity of two or more things in one or more respects to the similarity of those things in some future respects so these are the options 28 uh, i will not read the options but let me give you the correct option as per my research it will be both statement one and two are correct 28 done 29 says given below are two statements statement one says for the classical indian thinkers inference or anumana means only syllogistic inference statement two says unlike aristotelian syllogism anumana involves four steps in, instead of three so in the light of the above statements we have to choose the correct answer from the options given below both statement one and two are true both statement one and two are false statement one is true but statement two is false statement one is false but statement two is true so these are the options 29 correct option will be c that means statement one is true but statement two is false 30 which of the following means of knowledge involves posi 
पॉजिटिंग ऑफ समथिंग फॉर मेकिंग एनी यूनिट ऑफ कॉग्निशन सेल्फ कंप्लीट कंपेरिजन उपामना पोस्टुलेशन अर्थपटी नॉन कॉग्निशन अनु अनुपालाधि भर्बल टेस्टिमोनी शब्द थर्टी कारेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी पोस्टुलेशन अर्थप अर्थपति नेक्स्ट थर्टी वन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू डेटा कम्युनिकेशन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स इज ट्रू अबाउट फाइबर ऑप्टिक केबल फाइबर ऑप्टिक केबल यू मस्ट हैव हर्ट इट इज रिलेटेड टू इंटरनेट विदाउट फाइबर ऑप्टिक केबल वी वुड हैव नॉट बीन यूजिंग इंटरनेट राइट नाउ सो ऑप्शंस आर लाइक दिस आई विल नॉट रीड ऑल द ऑप्शंस इट विल कंज्यूम माय टाइम सो लेट मी गिव यू द करेक्ट ऑप्शन करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी फाइबर ऑप्टिक केबल कैरीज डेटा इन पल्सेस ऑफ लाइट एंड इज नॉट प्रोन टू इनफरेंसेस और इनफरेंस थर्टी टू अरेंज द फॉलोइंग कंप्यूटर मेमोरी टाइप्स फ्रॉम फास्टेस्ट टू स्लोएस्ट स्पीड हार्ड डिस्क मेन मेमोरी रैम सी डी रोम सी पी यू सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट रेजिस्टर्स कैची मेमोरी थार्टी टू कारेक्ट ऑप्शन उल बी फर्स्ट डी उल कम देन इ उल कम देन बी उल कम देन ए देन सी डी इ बी ए सी नेक्स्ट थार्टी थ्री उच अफ द फलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स एबाउट मेलवेयर आर ट्रु मेलवेयर यू अल नो इट इज फाउंड इन कम्पिटर और इन डिवाइसेस इलेक्ट्रनिक स्पेसियलि वेर उइ हेव आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एट्रोज एट्रोजन हर्स इज मेलवेयर डिजगैस एज लेजिटिमेट सफ्टवेर बी ए भाइरास इन्सार्स इट सेल्फ इन टू अनादार प्रोग्राम इट रानस एंड स्प्रेट्स इट सेल्फ वेन द प्रोग्राम इज ओपन सी ए वर्म इज सिमिलर टू ए भाइरास एक्सेप्ट दैट इट डज नट नीड ए प्रोग्राम इन ऑर्डर टू रान इट स्प्रेट स्प्रेट्स बै इट सेल्फ सो दिज आर द अपशन फर द क्वेशन नम्बर थार्टी थ्री कारेक्ट अपशन उल बी ए बी एंड सी दिस थ्री आर कारेक्ट एक्स ऑल आर कारेक्ट ओके सिमिलरलि नम्बर थार्टी फोर थार्टी फोर सेज मेथ्स लिस्ट वन उथ लिस्ट टू इन लिस्ट वन उथ फाइल इन लिस्ट टू उथ फाइल फर्मेट लिस्ट वन सेज भिडिओ पडकास्ट फटोग्राफ स्प्रेडशीट लिस्ट टू फाइल फर्मेट डट एक्स एल एस एस एक्स डट जे पी जि डट एम पी फोर डट एम पी थ्री नाउ दिज आर द अपशनस एज यू हेव सीन लेट मी गिव द कारेक्ट अपशन कारेक्ट अपशन उल बी ए उल बी रिलेटेड टू थ्री बी फोर सी टू डि वन नेक्स नेक्स सो नेक्स इज रिलेटेड टू मेथमेटिकल साम थार्टी फाइव इट सेज इन द फलोइंग स्प्रेड शीट उच अफ द फर्मूला फर्मूला और फर्मुली बिलो उड बी बेस्ट फर सेल सी टू नट देट द फर्मूला मास्ट बी एबल टू कपि डाउन फ्रम सी टू टू बोथ सी थ्री एंड सी फोर सो दिस इज द बक्स दिस इज द चार्ट वन टू थ्री फोर ए बी सी देन लांच कोस रूपीज डिनार कोस रूपीज टोटल कोस इन रूपीज सो लेट मी रीड फर्स ए डे देन बी देन सी फिफ्टीन टूवेंटी थ्री टेन टूवेंटी सेवेन थार्टी फाइव थार्टी फाइव फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी एट फोर्टी फाइव नाउ सो दिस इज द अपशन उइ हेव गट थार्टी फाइव कारेक्ट अपशन उल बी नम्बर डि डलार ए टू मे वि प्लास डलार वि टू थार्टी सिक्स थार्टी सिक्स इज गिवेन बिलो आर टू स्टेटमेंट्स वन इज लेवल एस एसारसन एंड आदर इज लेवल एस रिजन एसारसन से सोएल पल्यूशन डि टू डेटरजें डिटरजेंट इफेक्ट सरी एफेक्ट द रूथ रूथ ग्रोथ अफ द प्लेन एंड डिप्रेस द ग्रोथ अफ सएल माइक्रो अर्गानिजम रिजन इज से प्रेजेंस अफ डिटरजेंट इन सएल मेक्स द सएल मोर एसिडिक थार्टी सिक्स कारेक्ट अपशन उल बी एसारसन इज कारेक्ट बट रिजन इज नट कारेक्ट थार्टी सेवेन एग्जाम्पल्स अफ पार्सिस्टेन्ट अर्गेनिक पल्यूटेन्स पीओ पीस और वाट डायक्सिन्स मे वि नट द वे आई हेव प्रनाउंस बट डेज इज द वे आई प्रनाउ प्रनाउंस सरी फर डेट पेन भिओ सी फुरेन्स एफ यू आर एन एस पी सी बी सो दिज आर दपशन सो थार्टी सेवेन कारेक्ट अपशन उल बी ए देन डि देन इ ए वाज डायक्सिन्स देन पेन देन इ और वाट लेट मी एगेन गो 
थार्टी सेवेन ए डि एंड इ डि नट वि सरी नट वि इट वज दि फ्यू रान देन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन द फार्ष्ट कमिटमेंट पीरियड अफ किटो प्रटोकल हाउ मेनी ग्रीन हाउस गेसेस वेर कवार्ड फर रिड्यूसिंग देयर इमिशन्स थार्टी एट इट वज सिक्स ओके सिक्स Then next, given below are two statements. One is label as assertion, and other is label as reason. Assertion A says green hydrogen production will be critical for world com community to achieve carbon neutrality by the year 2050. Reason R says the energy content of hydrogen gas is much higher than that of coal. So the, this is the uh, options number 39. Correct answer will be number B. Both assertion and reason are true, but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion. Then number forty. Since the start of industrial revolution, the acidity of ocean surface water has increased by ten percent, remained constant, decreased by twenty-five percent, increased by thirty percent. Number forty. It will be increased by thirty percent. Next, uh, a government university with institute of eminence status can have foreign faculty up to a maximum of what? Twenty percent of total strength, twenty-five, thirty, or thirty-five, forty-one. It will be number B, twenty-five percent of total faculty strength. Next, credits earned by forty-two credit earned by student and stored in academic bank of credit. After the date of earning, such credits will have validity up to maximum of what? Seven, ten, twelve, fifteen, forty-two. Correct answer will be seven years. Up to seven years, it will be, uh, it will be valid. Next, identify the correct. Um, uh, identify the statutory bodies of university boards of studies, academic council. Executive Council, Finance Committee, University Court. So these are the options. Forty-three correct option. Uh, here there are some error in the question. Maybe so this is what I have got according to my research. But if you know that it is not the wrong answer or no wrong options are given, then please try to uh, rectify it. In the comment box. Next, next is saying number forty-four. It says environmental education must be integral to all academic programs as students need to be mainly sensitized about. So these are the options. Let me not read it. Forty-four correct option will be number D. Environmental degradation and consequences for life on Earth. Next, how could a lamp which does not keep on burning light another candle? The statement is from the book titled Shiksha Learning. Who among the following is the author of this book? Ramendranath Tagore, Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, Jyoti Phule, Savitri Bai Phule. It was number one. That is Ramendranath Tagore. Next, so here we have to read the passage and then we have to answer the question. I will not do this. Okay, since I uh, read the passages and answer the questions, these are quite uh, easy. Okay, so you have you only you must only have you should only have what uh, I can tell you is patience and concentration and focus. In that way, whatever the passages, if you are focused, if you are concentrate, uh, then it can be done easily. So I will not do. do this okay so that's all for today's video i hope uh, this video will help you and please stick to the syllabus if you digress from the syllabus and if you do not observe analyze and critique the previous question paper then you will have problem so if you try to avoid those problems then you must do what i have said thank you so much hello viewers Welcome back to my channel, and we have been discussing so many question papers from uh, previous years related to UGC NET Paper One, and today I have uh, taken one more question paper uh, 
this exam was held recently in this year in the month of july so this will be most relevant question paper for us uh, so without any delay let's begin our discussion the question says the table below shows the number of persons in lakhs in six cities a to f along with the ratio of males to females and literates to illiterates in this series in the year 2020 based on the data in in the table answer the question so this is the city wise distribution of population a b c d e f this kind of city we have got and in number of persons in lakh 5.0 3.6 2.8 4.5 5.0 3.0 ratio male uh, ratio female 3 ratio 2 4 ratio 6 3 ratio 4 5, 5 ratio 4 2 ratio 3 2 ratio 1 literates Ill illiterates ratio 1 ratio 4 4 ratio 1 2 ratio 5 3 ratio 2 2 ratio 3 7 ratio 3 got it now we have to now solve the question number one question that we have got is the ratio of the number of literates in the in city f to that of city a is what 3 ratio 5 2 ratio 5 21 ratio 10 8 ratio 3 so correct answer will be 21 ratio 10 one more thing i have done my best to provide you the correct answer but despite that endeavor sometimes uh, things go wrong so please try to try to do your own research and try to verify the answer do not treat my answer as an absolute truth then we have got second question uh, it says the number of females in city b is dash person of the number of females in city c it will be number uh, what will be the number 138 110 120 135 so correct answer will be 123 135 that is number four next number three number three says the number of illiterates is more than one lakh in all the six cities exactly three cities exactly four cities exactly two cities so number three it will be exactly four cities next uh, question number four it says what it says that the average of the total number of literates in cities a b c and e together is in lakh 1.67 0.72 1.08 1 1.52 what will be the correct answer number four it it will be 1.67 next number uh, five if i'm not wrong this will be five it says wait wait yes the question is uh, is saying if the number of persons increases by 10 percent in city b and by 12 percent in city a in 2021 with respect to 2020 then the ratio of number of persons in city b to that of city a in 2021 will be what 2 ratio 3 97 ratio 120 2 ratio 5 99 ratio 140 5 mm, correct answer will be number d 99 ratio 140 question number 5 done then question number 6 which social media platform introduces one of the main features known as super follows facebook telegram twitter whatsapp so this is uh, brought by super followers by twitter but uh, right now twitter is you all know it has been uh, changed to x by elon musk now he is the owner next uh, wait 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 yes next question now which theory and theories are associated with learning through observation behaviorist theory skinner constructivist theory piaget social cognitive theory bandura socio-cultural theory 
Bihoksky. Very hard to pronounce for me, but I did my best. Seven number uh, correct answer will be social cognitive theory, that is Bandura. Okay, next. Next is given below are two statements. Statement one says the direction of flow of emotional energy is changed through the process of redirection and sublimation from an undesirable goal to a socially desirable one. Statement 2 says catharsis is a desirable method in which channels are provided for the release of the emotional energy. In light of the above statement, choose the correct answer from the options given below. Both statement 1 and 2 are true, uh, 1 and 2 are false, 1 is true but 2 is false, 2 is false, 1 is false but 2 is true. So what will be our correct answer? Correct answer of number 8, uh, it will be number A, that means both statement 1 and 2 are true, both are correct. Next, number 9, what is the main aim of classroom management? To keep an orderly uh, classroom, to establish the prim primacy of the teacher, to sustain a quiet environment, to maintain a positive productive learning environment. It will be to maintain a positive and productive learning environment. Next. Next is number 10. Match list 1 with list 2. In list 1, we have National MOOC as MOOCs coordinator. In list 2, we have program. ABCD are given. Uni University Grants Commission UGC. Consortium for Educational Communication. NIOS National Institute of Open Schooling. DNITTTR Chennai National Institute of Technical Teachers Training and Research. Now in list 2, we have programs. Number 1 says non-technology postgraduate degree program. 2. Teacher training program. 3. Non-technology undergraduate degree program. 4. Out of school children educational program from class 9 to 12. So these are the options. Choose the correct answer from the given option. So correct option of this question, it, it will be number B. That means A will be related to 1b2 c4 d2 next uh, use of theory in social science research is important as it provides what contrasting framework access literature justification for research quantitative data so what do you think uh, it will be c uh, justification for research Next, a sample of respondents which is available to researchers because of their access to the respondents is identified as what? Random sampling, quota sampling, snowball sampling, convenience sampling. Number 12, it will be number D, convenience sampling. Next. Uh, which of the following are the steps in a systematic review of literature? Search for archival records, define the purpose, assess the relevance of selected studies, identify the quality of, a, uh, quality of each study, interview the authors of each study selected. So these are the options. I will not go through the options, but let me tell you the correct option for the set question. It will be number B. That, that means B, C, D, and uh, B, C, and D are correct. B, C, and D. Okay. Next, <clears throat> number fourteen. Given below are two statements. Statement one says quantitative research lays emphasis on the generali generalizability sorry for the pronunciation of findings statement two probability sampling does not generate a representative sample in the light of the above statement choose the correct answer from the options given below so these are the options of the set que question number 14 correct option will be statement one is true but statement two is false next <clears throat> given below are two statements Okay, uh, statement one says in probability sampling, it is not necessary that all the members of 
population have an equal opportunity to be the part of the sample. Statement 2 says, non-probability sampling method is not a fixed or predefined selection process. In the light of the above statement, choose the correct answer from the options given below. So these are the options. Let me not go to it. So correct answer of this question, it will be statement 1 is false, but statement 2 is true. Next. Uh, language for communication is a product of what? Laboratory simulation, religious affiliations, everyday life, elitist preference. It will be number C, that means everyday life. This is the language for, uh, language for communication is a product of everyday life. Next, number 17. By creating a bunch of expectations, mass media induce which of the following among audiences? Professionalism, preference for corrupt practices, political positivity, self-fulfilling prophecy. So, uh, number 17's correct answer will be self-fulfilling prophecy. Number 18. Human communication involves which of the following factors? Building symbols, using symbols, manipulating symbols, ex exclusion of culture, non-use of symbols. Choose the correct answer from the options given below. So these are the options for the question number 18. Mm, so it will be number A. A, B and C are correct except D, E. A, B and C. Moving on. Number 19. Number 19 says, given below are two statements. Statement 1 says, communicative language is the means of transmission of our values and social norms. Statement 2 says, language defi defines and communicates the world around us. In the light of the above statement, choose the correct answer from the options given below for the question number 19. It will be, one will be correct. Both statement 1 and 2 are true. 20 says, Given below are two statements. Statement 1 says communication can create a feel-good factor among receivers. Statement 2 says communication can be used as an instrument to divide and alienate the receivers. Number 20. Correct option will be number 1. Both statement 1 and 2 are true. Next. 21. 21 is related to mathematical ability. So, consider the series given below. Minus 5. Minus 3, minus 5, minus 2, minus 5, minus 1, minus 5, P, minus 5, Q, then what? The value of P and Q, that is P, Q, uh, are what? Minus 5, in the bracket, minus 2, minus 2, in the bracket, minus, minus 5, 0, 1, in the bracket, 1, 1. What do you think? What will be the correct option for the question 21? 21's correct answer will be, it will be number C, that means 0 0.1 sorry not point zero comma one okay okay hmm. next 21 10 persons can cut seven trees in 14 days in how many days can 16 person cut 12 trees 16 days 13 days 15 days 12 days 22 it will be number c 15 days next the average 23 the average age of family of five members three years ago was 17 years in spite of the birth of a child in the family during these three years the present average age of the family re remains the same what is the present age of the child two years three years 2.5 3.5 23 23 number a will be correct one point sorry not 1 1.2 yes it is 1 1.2 1.2 will be correct next question 24 find a single discount equivalent to two successive discounts of 10 percent and 20 percent 27 percent 28 percent 30 percent 25 percent 24 correct answer will be number b 28 percent Uh, 25. A person walks 30 meters north, then turns right and walks 30 meters. He then turns again 
uh, sorry, he then turns right and walks 45 meters. Then he turns left and walks 15 meters. Again, he turns left and walks 15 meters. In which direction and how far is the person from his starting point? 45 meters west, 35 meter east, 35 meter west, 45 meter east. So correct option for this question, it will be question number uh, 25, right? It, it will be 30, 45 meter east. 26. <clears throat> Which informal fallacy is committed in the following statement? Of course, you want to buy XYZ toothpaste. There must be a reason why 90% of India brushes with XYZ toothpaste. So 26. Uh, what are, uh, options are like this. Slippery slope, hasty generalization, uh, argumentum ad populum, strawman fallacy. It, it, uh, it will be argumentum ad populum. I don't know what it means. If you know, then you can comment. Okay, next question 27. Which of the following statement is logically equivalent to the statement called all the women are honest human beings? Some we women are not honest human beings. Some honest human beings are women. Uh, some women are honest human beings. No we women are non-honest human beings. 27. Correct option will be number D. No women are non-honest human beings. 28. Which of the following statement is contradictory to the statement? Some birds are mammals. Some mammals are not birds. Some birds are not mammals. Some mammals are birds. No birds are mammals. 28. Correct option will be no birds are mammals. Next. 29. If the statement some animals are not birds is given as false, then which of the following statements can be immediately inferred to be false all animals are birds no animals are birds some a animals are birds some animals can fly so 29's correct answer will be no animals are birds this will be our, our correct option 30 given below are two statements statement one says indian logic treats induction and deduction as separate processes Statement 2 says Indian logic does not reject the verbalist view of logic. So uh, in the light of the above statement, we have to choose the most appropriate answer from the options given below. So this is question number 30. Correct answer will be both statement 1 and statement 2 are incorrect. Both are wrong. Then 31. An Indian company designs a mobile application to process start stuff records. In each record, 10 bits are used to store stuff id and 20 bytes are used to store stuff names how many stuff records can the mobile application support so 31's uh, correct answer will be 2 then above to 10. next 32 the action of sending text messages to fraudulently obtain another person's bank detail is called what Fishing, farming, spamming, smishing. 32. It will be number D. Smishing. S M I S S I N G. Smishing. Okay, next. What are the main benefits of using an SSD rather than HDD? SSD uses spinning disk and is thus more reliable. SSD is considerably lighter and has a lower power consumption ssd accesses data considerably faster so what do you think question number 33 correct answer will be c that means b and c will be our correct answer question number 34 match list one with list two in list one we have statement in list two we have value number of bytes form from eight bits what base 10 Denary value of the binary number 110. If there are two P bytes in one megabyte, then what is the value of P? An ISP company advertises its broadband download speed as 128 megabits per second. How many 4 megabyte files can be downloaded per second using the company's broadband? Value are like this 64120. Now choose the correct option from the set. Options 34 correct option will be number C that means a will be re related to 3 
B will be 1, C will be 4, D will be 2. Next, 35. Given below are two statements. Statement 1 says entries in blocks are organized from most recent to least recent. Statement 2 says hits are the number of occasions where keywords in search uh, in a search engine match up with websites less web pages. So 35 correct answer will be 1. Both statement 1 and statement 2 are true. Next. 36. Given below are two statements. The statement 1 says most of the hazardous landslides are induced by earthquakes. The statement 2 says all landslides involve falling of earth material under sheer stress. So now choose one. So these are the options of the question number 36. It will be D. Statement 1 is false but statement 2 is true. Next, given below are two statements. So these kind of questions are often repeated means this style of question. Statement one says it is relatively easier to monitor and regulate water pollution caused by uh, non-point source than point sources. Statement two says non-point sources of water pollution may be fairly uniform and predictable throughout the year. Now choose it. 37. If we choose then number B will be correct. Both statement one and statement two are false next 38 uh, statement one by 2025 two, two thirds of world's people will be living in a in water stress countries statement two growth of water withdrawal and consumption in industrial sector is going to be overtake going to overtake debt in agriculture sector by 2025 38 correct option will be number c statement one is true but statement two is false next next is 39 given below are two statements one is level as we all know assertion is saying kyoto protocol exempted countries such as india and china from rolling back their greenhouse gas emissions by about five percent below 1990 level by 2012 reason is saying exemption was given to india and china as their contribution to total greenhouse gas emissions of the world was insignificant in 1997 so options are like this uh, try to find out the correct option. Correct option will be A is true but R is false. Assertion is true, true but reason is false. Next, sources of heat of geothermal energy are what? Radioactive decay of unstable elements, nuclear fusion, magna, uh, magma, sorry, temperature gradient inside earth, oceanic circulation. So these are the options. So correct option will be number C. That means A, C and D are correct next according to nep 2020 which of the following will not be the function of national educational technology forum netf one to envision strategic trust areas in educational technology two to build intellectual and institutional capacities in educational technology three to provide grants for setting up educational technology centers in central government institutions four to articulate new directions for research and innovation in educational technology so 41 what do you think so it will be um, c to provide grants for setting up educational technology centers in central government institutions next 42 national skill qualification framework in short nsqf is a competency based framework that organizes all qualifications according to a series of levels of what knowledge understanding skills aptitude attitude and aptitude so 42 correct option will be number b that means a c and d are correct next what is the full form of nherc national higher education review council council national higher e education repository council national higher education regulatory council national higher education regulatory complex so 43 what will be the correct option c will be correct option national higher education regu regulatory council wait wait uh, okay done now c is done 
Now our next question that there is 44 who among the following gave us the names of 12 divisions of the solar zodiac and whose calculation of the earth circumference was not off the mark so this is the options is varakrishna aryabhatta bhaskaracharya brahma gupta 44 it will be number b aryabhatta next Following the recommendation of which of the following committee, the Central Advisory Board of Education, CABE, was revived in 1935. S.H. Wood Committee, Hartog Committee, Wood Abbott Committee, Sadler Committee. 45, it will be number B, Hartog Committee. Please verify, please verify. Next, uh, next is we have to read the following passage and then answer the question so these kind of questions are easy if you are focused so i will not try to solve it i hope you have understood so uh, keep on studying keep on uh, analyzing the previous year question paper and stick to the syllabus thank you so much in this video we will try to discuss some questions related to education especially higher education and it will be based on current affairs that has been going on those things we will try to discuss nep 2020 it is a recent phenomena that has completely changed or transformed education sector of india and related to those things we will try to solve some questions so the first question that is with us is what does nep national education what stand for the for in the context of indian education national education program new education plan national education policy and national educational program so you have seen the options Num number c will be correct that is national education policy you have seen that similarly number two says in which year was the national education policy 2020 officially approved by the government of india 2015 2018 2020 2022 from the question itself we can make out that it is 2020 nep 2020 then NEP 2020 aims to achieve what level of gross enrollment ratio GER in higher education by 2030 25% 30 50 100% so number three it, it will be uh, 30% this is their aim then uh, which language is recommended as the medium of instruction up to at least grade 5 in NEP 2020 English Hindi mother tongue or regional language Sanskrit if you are uh, involved in current affairs then you will get to know that mother tongue or regional language was given preference and in these languages education will be imparted next the nep 2020 emphasizes the integration of which aspect of education to promote a holistic approach arts and science sports and physical education vocational education regional studies it will be number b that is sports and education physical educations were emphasized then uh, according to nep what is the new name proposed for the University Grants Commission UGC, National Accreditation Council NEC, National Education Authority NEA, Higher Education Commission of India, HECI, University, sorry, University Regulatory Body, URB. So correct answer of this question, it will be number C, that is Higher Education and Higher Education Commission of India, HECI. You must remember it. Likewise, NEP 2020, it recommends the implementation of 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 curricular structure. What does five in the structure represent? Five years of primary education, five core subjects in higher education, five years of pre-primary education, five years of vocational education. So it will be number C, that is five years of pre-primary education. Next, what is the primary goal of NEP 2020 regarding teacher education? So it will be to, to enhance the quality of teacher education. This was the primary goal of NEP 2020. Next, what is the recommended ratio of full-time equivalent teachers to the total number of students in school as per 2020 so this is the ratio one ratio 30 one ratio 40 one ratio 20 one ratio 10 uh, it it will be it will be nine uh, uh, a that means one ratio 30 this is their prime and fundamental objective similarly NEP 2020 envisions the establishment of multidisciplinary higher education institutions known as what? Central universities, technical institutes, research institutes, universities of eminence. Number D will be correct. Universities of eminence. I have done my best to give you the correct option, though it is prepared by me, but still there will be some error unknowingly. Please try to rectify it. According to NEP 2020, 
uh, what is the proposed duration of the undergraduate program in most universities two years three years four years five years it is quite pragmatic it is uh, now implemented so now four years will be our correct option then uh, any p 2020 it aims to achieve 100 percent adult literacy by which year 2030 2040 2025 2050 so it will be uh, 2030 year okay this is the year then uh, what is the name of the initiative under nep 2020 that focuses on pro providing equitable and quality education children with disabilities inclusive education program special education initiative samagra siksha abhiyan and uh, accessible learning project iep sei ssa alp so it will be special education initiative sei the next question, NEP 2020, it emphasizes the use of technology for education, which program aims to provide high quality e-content for school education. Swayam Diksha Saksat e -gyan. It will be Diksha, D-I-K-S-H-A, Diksha. Next, the NEP 2020, it encourages the establishment of autonomous bodies called what for the accreditation and assessment of institutions, assessment committees, quality councils, regulatory authorities, accreditation agencies. Okay, it will be quality councils. Wait quality councils next according to nep 2020 what is the name of the new pedagogical structure recommended for the early childhood care and education ecce 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 5 plus 3 plus 4 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 plus 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 it will be 5 plus 3 plus 4 then nep 2020 recommends the integration of vocational education into the mainstream education system from which grade it will be number b 8 grade then what is the proposed name for the regulatory body responsible for accrediting institutions in NEP 2020? It will be National Accreditation Council. Next, according to NEP 2020, what is the new name proposed for the Indian School Certificate ISC examination? Okay, it will be Comprehensive Assessment Program in short cap, CAP. Uh, then uh, NEP 2020 aims to increase the public involvement sorry investment in ed education to what percentage of the gdp four six ten two it will be six percent likewise which component nep 2020 focuses on promoting research and innovation in higher education institutions equity and inclusion access to quality education holistic education research and innovation it will be access to quality education NEP 2020 recommends the introduction of coding, the computational thinking from which grade in schools, grade 1, grade 6, grade 9, grade 11. Uh, it will be grade 6. From grade 6, it has been decided that students will learn coding. Then, what is the proposed name for the regulatory body responsible for setting standards in teacher education under NEP 2020? National Accreditation Council, National Council for Teacher Education, Educational Quality Assurance Authority, Teacher Training and Certification Board. It will be National Accreditation Council. Next, NEP 2020 suggests the establishment of a national mission on slash to focus on the integration of arts and culture in education, heritage education, cultural literacy, arts and aesthetics, Indian heritage. It, it will be heritage education. According to NEP 2020, what is the minimum age at which a child should early so enter early childhood care and education uh, it will be number four uh, b that is four years then what is the name of the initiative under nep 2020 that aims to provide vocational education and training to over 50 percent of students by 2025 it is skill india mission in uh, nep 2020 what is the proposed du duration of the program in most discipline so b that is four years NEP 2020 recommends the introduction of national tutors program to provide academic supports to students in what? Grades 1 and 8, grades 9 to 12, higher education, all grades. It will be grades 9 to 12. This is what I have got, but please try to verify from your side also. Do your own research. Next, according to NEP 2020, what is the recommended dur duration for a Bachelor of Education in short BA program? One year, two year, three year, four year. So it, it will be two year. This is what I have got. NEP 2020 aims to transform India into a global knowledge superpower through which key strategy invest in uh, private education institutions, attract foreign universities to set up campuses in India, promote online education exclusively, increase the number of traditional universities. It will be B, attract foreign universities to set up campuses in India. 
Next, what is the proposed name for the National Assessment Center that will conduct standardized tests for university admission under NEP 2020, National Testing Agency NTA, Centralized University Entrance Examination CUEE, National Assessment and Accreditation Authority NAAA, All India, All India Admission Test AIAT. So it will be All India Admission Test. Uh, NAP 2020, it recommends the use of which model to impart vocational education in schools? Who and spoke model, centralized model, research-based model, traditional class classroom model? It will be 23, that is B, centralized model. According to MEP 2020, what is the aim of achieving foundational literacy and numeracy for all students by 2030, by 2025, by 2022, 2022, and 2040? Correct answer will be, it will be 2025. This is according to my research. Please try to verify. NEP 2020 encourages the development of an academic bank of credits in sort called ABC. What is the purpose of this bank? To provide loans to students for higher education, to assess the credit worthiness of educational institutions, to facilitate the transfer of academic credits across institutions, to regulate interest rates on student loans. Okay, it will be uh, to assess the credit worthiness of educational institutions. Which Indian state slash union territory served as the model for implementing various aspects of NEP 2020 before the policy was rolled out nationwide. It is Tamil Nadu. NEP 2020 recommends the setting up of a gender inclusion fund to support the education of marginalized and vulnerable groups. What is the proposed contribution to this fund by the government? So you must know this. It's a basic question. Number C will be correct. 10% of the education budget. Under NEP 2020, what is the proposed name for the new regulator for higher education institutions focusing on accreditation, funding, and academia standards? It, it will be, uh, we have already discussed, Higher Education Commission of India. Then, uh, according to NEP 2020, what is the recommended percentage of students who should pursue vocational education at the secondary level? It will be 10%. NEP 2020 emphasizes the importance of exp experiential learning. Which of the following is an example of experiential learning? It will be uh, reading textbooks. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, let's try to discuss other videos in other day, in upcoming day. The first question that we have got is, which component of NEP 2020 it focuses on promoting research and innovation in Indian higher education institutions, equity and inclusion, access to quality education and holistic education, then research and innovation. So the correct answer will be research and innovation that we have got in the number D. Likewise, NAB 2020. Uh, it recommends the introduction of coding and computational thinking from which grade in schools 1, 6, 9, grade 11. So you all know it will be grade 6. Next, what is the proposed name for the regulatory body responsible for setting standards in teacher education under NEP 2020? National Accreditation Council NEC. National Council for Teacher Education NCTE, Nest Educational Quality Assurance Authority EQAA, Teacher Training and Certification Board TTCB. So it will be NCTE, National Council for Teacher Education. Next, NEP 2020 suggests the establishment of national mission on this to focus on the integration of arts and culture in education, heritage education, cultural literacy, arts and aesthetics, Indian heritage. It will be arts and aesthetics. Next, according to NEP 2020, what is the minimum age at which a child should enter early childhood care and education, which is in short form called E C C E three four five six years. It will be three years. Number A three years. Then what what is the name of the initiative under NEP twenty twenty that aims to provide vocational education 
and training to over 50% of students by 2025. Skill India Mission, Pradhan Mantri Kosal Vikas Yojana, PMKVY, National Skills Development Corporation, NSDC, Vocationalization of Education Program, VEP. So, correct answer will, uh, answer will be Skill India Mission. Wait. Next. In NEP 2020, what is the proposed duration of the PhD program in most disciplines? 3, 4, 5, 2 years. So, uh, it will be 4 years. B. NEP 2020 recommends the introduction of National Tutors Program in brief NTP to provide academic support to students in grades 1, 8, 9, 12, higher education or all grades. It will be from grades 1 to 8. A will be correct. Next, according to NEP 2020, what is the recommended duration for the Bachelor of Education in short BA? One, two, three, four. It will be two years. Max. NEP 2020 aims to transform India into a global knowledge superpower through which key strategy. So these are the options. Correct option will be attract foreign universities to set up campuses in India. Next, which, what is the proposed name for the National Assessment Center that will conduct standardized tests for university admission under admissions under NEP 2020? Okay, it will be, you, you all know, National Testing Agency. It also conducts various examinations including NET. Next, NEP 2020 recommends the use of which model to impart vocational education in schools so these are the options correct option we will be number one hub and spoke model hub and spoke next according to nep 2020 what is the aim for achieving foundation and literacy and numeracy for all students so these are the years correct answer will be answer will be uh, number c 2022 What is the aim for achieving foundational literacy and numeracy for all students? By 2022, whether it is correct or not, please try to verify from your own end. Next, NEP 2020 uh, encourages the development of academic bank of credits in short ABC. What is the purpose of this bank? These are the options. Correct option will be to facilitate the transfer of academic credits across institutions. Next, which Indian state or uh, slash union territory serve as the model for implementing various aspects of NEP 2020 before the policy was rolled out nationwide? It will be number B, that means Delhi. Please verify, please. Next. NEP 2020 recommends the setting up for a gender inclusion fund to support the education of marginalized and vulnerable groups. What is the proposed contribution to this fund by government? So correct an answer will be 2% of the education budget. Next, under NEP 2020, what is the proposed name for the new regulator for higher education institutions focusing on accreditation? funding and academic standards you all know i have already talked in my part one of the video it will be higher education commission of india you must remember you must know about it next nep 2020 recommends the introduction of a common regulatory framework for online education what is the proposed name for this framework these are the options but correct option will be digital education regul regulatory authority in short DERA DERA you must remember it next according to NEB 2020 what is the recommended percentage of students we should pursue vocational education at the secondary level 10 20 30 50 percent it will be number C that means 30 percent 
Next, NDP 2020 em emphasizes the importance of experiential learning. Each of the following is an example of experiential learning. So it will be field trips and hands-on activities. Next, in NEP 2020, what is the suggested duration for the Master of Education in short MED program? 1, 2, 3, 4. It will be 1 year. Within 1 year, you have to finish. There is no other option left. NEP 2020 recommends that students be allowed to choose a combination of subjects of their choice, known as DASH in higher education, specialization core curriculum, multidisciplinary program, elective course. It will be multidisciplinary program. Next, NEP 2020 encourages the creation of a national research foundation, in short NRF, to promote research and innovation. What is the proposed source of funding for the NRF? International donor, public private partnerships, grant from foreign uni governments, a percentage of the GDP. It will be a percentage of the GDP must be provided. No other option. Next, according to NEP 2020, what is the name of the autonomous body responsible for developing and maintaining the national curriculum framework? So these are the options. Correct option will be we all know. National Council of Educational Research and Training in short NCERET. Similarly, uh, next question, National Board of Online, uh, wait, NEP 2020 proposes the establishment of a Higher Education Grants Council, HEGC. What will be the primary role of HEGC? Uh, their role will be to, wait, their role will be to, uh, research and development in higher education culture, conducting accreditation, culture and art. So it was NCERT. NCERT. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. So funding of higher education institutions, it will be our correct answer. So next question, under NAP 2020, what is the proposed name for the regulatory body responsible for setting standards in school education? This, this, this is a very basic question. I think I have already discussed about it. So it will be NERA, National Education Regulatory Authority, NERA. Next, NEP 2020 suggests the introduction of a 360-degree assessment of students. What does this assessment include? A feedback from teachers and peers. This is our correct answer. Next, according to NEP 2020, what is the proposed name for the new policy on early childhood care for education? In short, ECCE. Uh, it will be National Curricular and Pedagogical uh, framework NSPF sorry NCPF next what is the proposed name uh, for the regulatory body responsible for setting standards and reg reg regulating online education uh, this we have already talked that that will be NBOE National Board of Online Education wait 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 very problematic now moving on NEP 2020 emphasizes the importance of early childhood care and education what is the recommended age range for children to re receive ECCE it will be three to six years next NEP 2020 suggests the establishment of a national assessment center to assess the skills and knowledge of students what is the proposed name for this center uh, it will be it will be national council for no 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 uh, national educational assessment authority number b national educational assessment authority next under NEP 2020 so we have I think we have already this 
discusses it it is finished <coughs> next nep 2020 recommends that the higher education system in india should aim to become net zero carbon by which year correct answer will be 2050 next uh, this we have already talked some questions are repeated we, we have already talked uh, let let us move forward some questions are already di discussed and talked according to nep 2020 what is the proposed ratio of trained teachers to untrained teachers in schools okay it it will be one ratio 30 nep 2020 recommends the introduction of a common entrance test cet for which level of education so it will be higher education common entrance for higher education next what is the proposed name for the regulatory body i think we have discussed it okay next question nep 2020 emphasizes the development of a national repository of educational data nred what is the primary purpose of nred to track student attendance to store digital textbook to centralize educational data for analysis and policy making to provide free internet access to schools so it will be to centralize educational data for analysis and policy making this is our correct answer um, this we have done this is the huh? most of the questions are done Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, I have done my best to give you the correct answer, but sometimes, due to some reasons, I may tell you the wrong answer as the correct answer. So it is always better to verify from your own end. Thank you so much.